ask bring sample 10 young believers someone who would tell you i'm going to be a great man of god and ask him what are you doing now he will tell you well uh, once in a while i listen to some messages if i have the time to and then i just know what i'm focused on writing what god told me my dear minister in the making you will never arrive there by that behavior no no there are many like you who wished ministry unfortunately it does not happen by wishing the bible says, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling walk it out hallelujah there are many gentlemen right now they cannot tell me the last time they read a book a quality pro destiny book many gentlemen cannot tell the last time they open themselves to receive quality strategic mentorship receiving mentorship at your terms is a joke you will never amount to anything it's like a teacher a student telling the teacher i'm not ready to learn now just be patient allow me rest when i'm ready i will call you teacher says nonsense <laughs> are we together how many people are poor and broke today but will never respect the wisdom that comes from people who have been helped by God. No. Hallelujah. You want to become a great mother and you see a woman who is exceptional with her home and her children and you disrespect them. Do you know every time I see great people, I look past their results. I want to buy into their mindset because their results are consequences. Did you hear that? Their results are consequences. There are decisions that led there. And I want to hear it. What is your understanding like? What are your decision-making processes like? Man of God, what decisions have you made that brought such power, such grace, such influence to your life? Let me sing that song again. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Now, let me tell you this. I came from an evangelical background, and being that my whole training and my exposure in ministry was from the northern middle belt and context, you know, we got that foundation of character, moral excellence, but there were certain things about administrative excellence that I did not have the opportunity to see because of the background. As God began to expose me to a global audience, I knew that there were some things I did not get by the advantage of my background and that I will have to reinvent myself. And so back to the formula of followership, follow them looking on to Jesus. There are things that them cannot teach you. Because the them to our students is just that they have gone ahead. Are we together? And I began to learn administrative principles. These are things that you do not get just by impartation. No, you get by knowledge. Serious, constructive, definite knowledge. And I started getting the materials, opening up myself to the various trainings. In addition to being a man of God, to become an effective leader leader of resources leader of people you see that now you want god to trust you to manage his resources and all you have is a sincere heart that is good but that is not enough no the dynamics of managing resources resources there being both human and material resources this one is a learned skill it comes by training it's not just a gift hallelujah there are many believers who are trusting God for increase and promotion. You want to pastor 100 members? There is a skill to pastor 100 members. You want to pastor 1,000 members with the mentality of the one who pastors 100 members? No. God loves his sheep too much. He will not trust you with that kind of thing. There is something you need to know. The dynamics of conflict resolution. The dynamics of people management. There are several things you need to learn at an elevated state. In addition to prayer, fasting, and the ministry of the word. Decisions. What is the difference between someone who is running a big shopping mall and another person who is struggling with a small shop? It's not just exposure, it's their decisions. 
the person small there is either starting small or he has refused to grow refusal to grow is a decision and god and life can respect it but the consequences that come with stuntedness will also meet you there